Hey guys, welcome back to Talk Tuesday. Growing up on the Tuesday. Since our mainstream media barely teaches anyone about anything other than a few stories that are the most important ones, I thought I would tell you a little bit about what's going on in the world of endangered species. Since Republicans took control of the House of Representatives in 2011, there have been 233 attempts made against the Endangered Species Act. When it comes to me and how I feel about politics, I know both sides are extremely corrupt and do not think you're off the hook, Democrats, because there are definitely some Democrat representatives out there who are also pushing bills that could dismantle and destroy the ESA, the Endangered Species Act. If you wanna see all of the attempts that have been made to damage this act, please see in the description box there will be a link. Why are they doing this? Why would anyone want to attack the Endangered Species Act? The Endangered Species Act protects animals who are endangered. So companies cannot as easily drill in areas where there are endangered species. There are way more regulations and it makes it very hard for big corporations to get as much money as they want. And it's very hard to understand where we are at in this world. We live in a world where people really prioritize money and making money over animals and life itself. And when you get to the point where you're debating between something's life, a living being and money, you're at a real problem. There are currently four different bills being formed right now to weaken and dismantle the ESA. And one of the biggest representatives that is trying to do away with the ESA is Rob Bishop. And he publicly said, I would be happy to invalidate the Endangered Species Act. There's a mindset in the government from especially the Republican side, but Democrats definitely do not get off the hook with this, but there is a mindset. Animals just don't matter as much as money. And that's a huge problem. And we have to look at where we are at as a species and where our planet is heading because of decisions like this and because of people like Rob Bishop. Us, the people on both sides, there's huge support for the ESA. In fact, a recent poll discovered that 90% of Americans want to keep the ESA and continue to save endangered species. But it really does seem that our representatives don't represent us very much and our media completely turns our attention away from issues like this and that's why I'm talking about it today. I do not own this earth more than a fox across the street does. And the fact that people don't get this or don't care really shows us where we're at and makes me very concerned about where we're going to be moving forward. But today I thought I would take this opportunity to tell you about some of the animals who have gone extinct as well as some of the animals who are at risk of going extinct if we do not change our values. Have you ever heard of the quagga? This is literally a half zebra, half horse. This went extinct in 1883. They have stripes on the front half of their body and the second half they are just like a regular horse. It's super weird and it almost looks like a show animal now, but this was a very common animal at one time. They used to roam all over South Africa, but European settlers started killing them at an alarming rate and by the 1880s, the last known example had died. This guy is the Tasmanian tiger and it has been extinct since 1936. They resemble a cross between a wolf and a tiger, but the Tasmanian tiger was more closely related to the kangaroo actually, or the koala. But sadly, they were not killed by hunting. They actually were killed when humans brought disease to the mainland of Australia that drove them to extinction. The Irish deer, it was the largest deer that ever lived, and it was extinct about 7,700 years ago. The Caspian tiger, another large species, they weighed more than 300 pounds, and they used to roam all the way from Turkey to China, but they were killed off by humans in the 1960s. 60s. Then there's the great auk, which is actually a huge penguin. <laughs> it's been extinct since 1844. Of course, the dodo bird, which is commonly referred to in talking about extinct animals, they've been extinct since the 17th century. And this is a super weird looking bird. They became extinct due to hunting by Dutch sailors. More recently, the Yangtze River dolphin went extinct in 2006. There were also giant sloths, which who doesn't love a good sloth, but uh, giant ones even better. They have been extinct for at least 10,000 years. Also, the passenger pigeon. There were literally billions of passenger pigeons a long time ago across North America. The flocks would be so big that they would take almost 14 hours to pass. They could completely blacken the sky overhead. So how does an animal like that go extinct? Well, thanks to humans, they were hunted and eventually the last one died in captivity in the Cincinnati Zoo in 1914. 
And imagine how many animals that we haven't even realized have gone extinct, have gone extinct. Like way, way more than we think over thousands of years. Now what's sad to think about is that our future grandchildren could look at some of the animals that are extinct now and think, wow, how cool it would have been to have those around, but they will never see one because we are losing them so quickly. And here are some of those animals. Bonobos. Bonobos are actually a really cute monkey that shares 98.7% of their DNA with humans. They are our close relatives. They are currently at risk from poaching and deforestation. Another one that's going extinct is orangutans, which is really sad. Another one is giant pandas. There are only 1,864 left in the wild in China, and they are considered to be critically endangered. Very sad to think of a world without pandas. Another one is Asian elephants. Their population has declined by 50% over the last 75 years. Now there are less than 50,000 in the whole wild. Another one is the Amur leopard. They are one of the most endangered big cats in the world with only 70 adults left in the wild. There's around 300 in North America. And not to mention the amount of aquatic species that are endangered because of climate change and overfishing. And so a lot of aquatic animals, including sea lions, are struggling to keep their populations going. Another one that's being affected by climate change are snow leopards because their cold climate is starting to melt. We can't forget about some of the other less cute animals that are struggling as well. Probosis monkey, purple-nosed frog, pig-nosed turtle, axolotl, which actually, if you want to learn about axolotls, hit up Taylor Nicole Dean here on YouTube. She is like an expert and I'm obsessed with her. The baby pygmy sloth, the scrotum frog, and these animals may seem insignificant to our world, but people need to understand what's really important at the end of the day. It's not money, it's not production, it's not growth. It is keeping this planet going. And if we are the ones that are changing it so much that we are killing off animals who have the right to be here, we need to rethink things. We need to make a change now. And if you feel the same way, there are petitions in the description box and also a way to contact your representatives to tell them how important it is to you that we protect endangered species who cannot fight for themselves. Our government is so corrupt and so focused on the wrong things. It takes the people to take a stand. So thank you for watching this video. I know it won't be one of my most popular Talk Tuesday topics because it's not quite shocking enough, but it is important and I hope you learned something and I hope maybe you will decide to take action. If you like this video and liked learning about an issue like this, you want to be more informed and you don't think the mainstream media is doing it for you, give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you liked this topic and leave me a comment, tell me what you think. But that's it for me today guys, I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you next time.